creation of the right path in the sincerity period. But please, if you would try to share this moment and your planet's evolution as a preparation for the investments which will be made in the very near future for your races. Now, there's a whole conversation that preempted this. And basically, I had a contact and I went up there with an attitude. <laughs> you know, I'm a Terran. I got extremes of emotions, you know, and, and I'm really frustrated by a lot of things. You know, I don't understand how the planet's supposed to evolve when nobody wants to hear the truth and most of the truth isn't even available. And I'm extremely frustrated by that. You know, uh, and then I hear metaphysicians justify, well, we're teaching the wrong thing, but it's all we have. You know, I, I have a difficult time justifying that. You know, why propagate something that we know isn't real? And that's a whole other issue. When we get to religions, I really want to, like, share with you what I've been told. <laughs> Oh, okay, this continues. Since the removal of conditions by density technology, your evolution is going to a faster pace, I think you say, than before. We have had to raise the frequency of your planet to move change and enlightenment along. Such a broad word you use, this word enlightenment. It was necessary. This also means great tests of tolerance in situations will be needed by your races. The most important of these tolerances will be caused by delusionary discriminations between your peoples. And folks, this is happening all over the planet, and it's such crap. At, at the present moment, your races are carrying in your DNA genetics the influences of a thousand centuries as you count rotations, that's, you know, one year, both the positive and negative aspects. Please understand we are trying to prepare your races for advanced maturity. At present, many transfers occur in your planet from many different cultures and planes. Each member of the races on and in your planet will naturally exhibit their own mentality they do and will contradict your habitual cultures. They're very specific about the words they use. In, in fact, you know, I don't even know how they got some of this because I didn't even know some of these phrases. You know, it's like pull it right out of my head and I don't even know it's there. Please do not forget that we have told you about mental conflicts that they cause each to go through tests of maturity. We determine your mentalities through the impulse signals we receive from your race's chains of thoughts. Now the selection of man or woman and the situations they transcend are much more difficult because their preparation of the future is in accordance with their level of consciousness. Alex, you cannot help all your races. Each member of your races will feel their essence in the balancing of positive and negative as they have done and it will be weighed in their own consciousness. Those who prepare and invest will be prepared for the evolution to another density. The continu continuance of your planet, the continence of your planet is changing very quickly. Please don't confuse our compassion for your races with a love for your planet. Please understand that they are separate with our race. We are neither pleased with your world's riches nor dismayed by its poverty. We come, we came to here to assist in the period of sincerity, the clarifying of the original intent in all of us in this vadia. The vadia is a tone that they use, and that particular tone means holograph. They've always referred to all of this as a holograph. Because of lineage to your races, we have returned to you. Your world is a place of veiled consciousness. In order to be embodied in physicalness, all frequencies should be assembled in a whole intent. The very distresses, the many anxieties, are the result of conflict with the limitless awareness in your races. This is the reason why your planet races cannot attain 
your own selves, and yet you desire to possess everything. The reflections of your evolutionary state of physicality cause your races not to live comfortably on your planet. Your present religions cause your races to unify your physical bodies with your abstract egos. You call this progress. We do not. Stop looking to your physicality to bring you enlightenment. Your bodies are the effect of the cause which is intent, moved by emotion which creates physicality. This is their perspective. During previous past times in your third density, education of the soul took many incarnations of life and death of the physical body. Situations and reincarnations would reflect the system it appears. All beings would transcend your physicalness in accordance with the degree of consciousness attained. Since it appears that your races, having no concept of the law of consistency, became very fragmented in extremes. Religions became divisions of beliefs and conflicts among your races took place. The worship of belief systems and idolatry came into existence. Reincarnations have become history. And by this means your races, Alex, and others than yours have a probability of directly attaining your full essences. The reason for telling you this in all clarity is to free you of the conflicts and contradictions so your races can attain the truth as soon as possible. So don't ask us about yourself. Ask about yourself to your own self. If your races cannot attain the truth and cannot be unified with your original intent, we will not be able to be in touch with your planet races. Since the ego consciousness in your races still goes on, and since you cannot break the denial of your inner self, your races become detrimental to the planet and to your planetary system. At this moment, there are many beings who cannot attain genuine respect for self and self-awareness in our galaxy. They as well are being kept under control. Their evolutions are being made in an indirect way. Your races have also been persecuted and manipulated by other galactic races from planetary systems negatively charged other than your own. I'm glad you got that. <laughs> Since during your different past time periods, they have tried to prove to your ancestors their own technical power. Fear has been created in your races. We have returned to convey the truth to erase these fears. Since your planet is the site of, of both the most primitive and most high maturity, it is very full of contradictions. Your religions, which have helped many to evolve, have not been released. Your races have refused to let go of a system of beliefs that have not serviced your planet for the last 453 rotations of your star. By freeing you of this, and with the use of common sense, we hope your races will attain your own selves and become fully independent, be it one. Okay. In their perspective, and you know, that's what it is. Um, it, it's, it's obvious that there's just not one truth, there's many truths. Um, the one truth is that we all exist, that we know, okay? That we all have an essence that is undefinable, that is truly eternal. Um, they say that third density, somewhere around just the beginning of December, the year, well, we know linear year of 2013, will implode. It will implode. <laughs> the third density will implode. And look at the auras. Wow, check this out. <clears throat> now, what does that mean? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is true, but this is what they say. They're convinced that literally what's going to happen is that there's going to be a graduation out of physicality.
That means a lot of us are going home, and it means that a lot of others are starting all over. If this is what's going to happen, okay. Um, a lot of this has to do with our genetics. Uh, according to the Andromedans, we are our physicality is the sum total of 22 different races that have come down here, spent the weekend, messed with us, and then took off and went home. <laughs> Okay, intermingled, you know, left uh, children behind and just took off. The Egyptian pharaohs are the perfect example of this. Okay, the blue bloods, the, the English family, uh, the Rothschilds, who are also blue bloods, are another example of this. Their blood is copper based, and that's ET. Okay, that's ET. And the thing about copper based blood is that you don't need a lot of oxygen. You tend to, your physicality tends to grow and have a larger lung capacity. Okay? Um, so you can live in a lot of other environments where we couldn't. Now, what's interesting is that in our physicality, what we know as Earth, our atmosphere is getting thinner and thinner. I know that there's a lot of talk about the ozone and it's a myth that it isn't real that there is no such thing as an ozone crisis, folks, there absolutely is an ozone crisis. Okay? We are destroying, the, what I say we, all of us, are partly responsible for this. We are destroying our environment. Um, according to the Andromedans, 3,500 years ago, the oxygen content was between 34 and 38%. They say today that it is literally less than 17%. Now, those of you who have studied biology, what happens to the physical body when the gas, which is oxygen, goes below 15%? I'm sorry? Somebody said you die? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Now, why is this happening? Because a group of beings who are Terrans, who are Earth beings, have been made a promise by a group of extraterrestrials that have Orion belief systems that if they will get rid of some of the races on the planet, that the extraterrestrials will use their technology and restore the Earth to its original um, state. Okay? Some of that genocide was to be done by viruses. And as most of you know, the AIDS virus was created. And there are others that are coming, anthrax and, and uh, the bubonic plague. You know, all of these things are coming back new and improved, I'm afraid to say. Because there's some really, truly crazy people that are in positions of power on our planet. Many of them um, go back and forth from our planet to the moon. Now, <laughs> you don't have to buy any of this, and that's okay, you know. But I can tell you this, in the next 10 years, you will absolutely know for a fact. Richard Hoagland will be vindicated. He truly will. Okay? There are ruins on almost all of the planets in our solar system. There is life as we speak on Uranus right now. There's life. Plant life and mammal life as we speak. Okay? It's there. If you want to do something to burst everybody's bubble, you know, get them to send a satellite there. You know, and if you have any connections, get them to keep the cameras rolling as it enters, enters the atmosphere. Anyway, <laughs> um, I want to talk about genetics. Uh, I'm going to read to you something that was given to me on 8-6 of 96. Actually, it was given to me a little bit sooner than that, and it took me quite a while to